All right, so today I need to go to the spring and get some water. I want to show some of my uh, solar panel setup and how it's doing. And we're going down and get the trail camera and see what's on there. And actually, I just looked, and that has a nice deer on it. And it's interesting. That deer went up to that camera one month to the day after I set it up some, and looked right into the camera. So I'm wondering if it can still smell my scent on the camera or is it seeing the ultraviolet, ultraviolet light or whatever it is, the infrared lights at nighttime. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Uh, what else we got to do? Yeah, I'm going to show some of the drive over to the spring and back. I'm going to clip out a lot of the stuff that shows any like landmarks. So I don't want to turn by turn directions to my place. If somebody needs to be here, they'll know how to get here. Also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and write down in the comments I've subscribed. I'll try to make a comment back to you. And I really appreciate it. And I want to show a whole lot more on this channel. I want to actually start getting into more in-depth builds because this is going to be going on. I mean, it's going to be a good year of me just building infrastructure and getting house built and sheds and workshops and rainwater collection systems. And it's going to be more important when I set up the rainwater collection in the solar panels on the permanent structure to show how I do that. It's going to have more panels and it's going to have an MPPT uh, charge controller and more batteries. So that's going to be a lot more interesting. Just throw my little 400 watts to run my laptop and charge my phone. So go ahead and subscribe and I appreciate you. So the 400 watt solar panel setup. The Saturday it was raining all day. Finally in the afternoon I got a couple hours. Go ahead and get it wired up. So that's why sometimes it's more important for me to get something done than it is to film myself doing something. And that's why a lot of this happens. So let me show you what I got going on. So we got four 100 watt solar panels on my temporary little platform here. And I can show you these two panels are wired in series. So I got positive to negative together. So these two 100 watt panels that have five watts each put two panels together now these are running they're running about 20 amps 20 21 amps on full sun so I end up with 40 volts and five amps now I run them in parallel these two are set up the same way now I run them all in parallel I end up with 40 volts with 10 amps and that's what's running into my place and this little cover shouldn't be up I still need to wire things as far as I still need to secure things it is a very temporary setup but I'm now getting to those 400 watts in the partial shading and this is where the extra panels really pay off you can see this one's in full sun that one has partial shading a little bit of shading a little bit of shading but I'm still getting good volts off of this which I'm going to show you in a second because I'm still have some that are not but it only takes Blocking 20% of this ruins the entire thing. You can still have some good voltage, but you end up with no amps. So, okay, so let's go inside and hopefully you can see this. Can you see that? Ah! I set this up. This is my better solar charge controller. I'm going to get an MPPT when I get the 600 watts installed on it. I think I'm fogging up or I'm just getting... Oh, let me see if I can close some of that up. My batteries, I have two 12-volt uh, lead-acid batteries. There right now this is telling me I have 13.8 volts in there. My, I know my inverter is running because my laptop is running. So if I do that during the day, it really doesn't pull off the battery. So coming from the solar panel, I have 14.5 volts coming in. And two point, approximately 2.5 amps coming in. The battery is 100%. Batteries are at 13.8. I have 272 amp hours stored. All right, I need to restock the water supply, so it's time to take a ride over to the spring. I'll show you how we get water around here. All right, so you got to put the uh, rubber boots on for this one.
yeah, there's no way to do this without getting wet. That's my water source. As far as I know, people have been drinking off this for a couple hundred years at least. Uh, pretty heavy uh, Indian presence, Native American presence, excuse me, in the area. So this has been used for a long time and families have been using this for decades out here. So for me, I'd rather get, that was 24 gallons of fresh spring water. It's about a five mile drive over here, but I'd rather do that than drive, well, round trip two hours and pay $24 for the same water. I do treat it with a cap full of bleach and then filter it through a pure water filter, which I'll be upgrading to the Berkey water filter real soon here since I have them in I just need to make up the buckets for it. Home sweet home, looking more and more like a homeless camp until I get something more permanent, until I get the rest of this cleared out of here. And yes, I do like being parked facing out. So if I were to leave, to leave quickly, I can. Alright, you might remember I brought a uh, trail cam down to bottom of the hill. But today I go down, pull the card, swap it out for another one. And I picked up some deer attracting food stuff. I'm going to go ahead and throw that down here and see if that brings anything in. So I'll see you at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, so these people are worse than I am at cutting trees down. I cannot believe how they got that right there. I'm just trying this out. This is the um, the bug out bag that comes with the Smith and Western um, M&P shield. Just trying it out. Carry down the uh, deer track with it. I don't know how much to put out. Oh, 
Zelda. I just threw this, this stuff out, deer attractant, pomegranate, something. I don't know. We'll see if it does anything. Oh well, I just went for it and threw it all out there. I got some more. Yeah, hopefully I got something on there. Hopefully there's a few animals. I know there's lots of deer around here. I got my buddy George, the armadillo that lives around here somewhere. So it's kind of cool down here. It's a nice flat area. And as far as I know, I own over to that trail over there, which is just on that log that's laying over there. Yeah, that log is laying over there. It's right, the trail is right there. As far as I know, I, I own over to there. But I get the metal detector out and try to find the, the, uh, the property marker. I swear that looks like a road over there going up the side of that hill. I don't think anybody can get up there, but yeah, I'm going to clear this out right from back here, actually. From back here, I'm going to clear this area out. Yeah. From over there to that tree over there, I think I'm going to clear this whole area out and make a nice little shooting range. I'm going to get a table down here and uh, yeah, having the hillside as a backstop. There's no way a bull's going to get out of here. I'd have to be shooting at the sky and even if I did, it just hit trees. Yeah, so doesn't this look like a uh, four-wheeler trail or an ATV trail going up the side of my hill? It kind of goes up through here and over that way. It is way too steep, I would think, but maybe not. Maybe not. But who would have an ATV trail here because nobody's ever done anything with this property.